Hello, YouTube subscribers and friends. It's 11:20 at night, and my wife came in from smoking, and she was trying to tell me that uh, she thought there was a rat or something that ran underneath my truck. So I grabbed my keys, I ran out there, started up my truck, revved it up a couple times, and pulled out, and took off down the driveway. In case it was a rat, I wanted to scare the hell out of it. And then when I came back, where my truck was parked, this little sucker was sitting right there, uh, like in the middle. If he, if he was underneath my truck, it was like sitting right in the middle of where my truck would be. But uh, I guess I scared him or something. He was under my truck and uh, when I took off he must have either fell off the truck or he just I don't know was sitting underneath the middle he's blowing up his body right now it's a horny toad and uh, out here in Arizona desert when it rains all the critters like to come out especially at night and it's 11:22 at p.m. at night and uh, he's out and about my cat Cleo I've been letting her smell him she's like gets really excited to smell him and he uh, puffs up his body a little bit. And uh, my wife, don't, she likes to go outside with my wife when she smokes. And uh, my wife don't like to go out because she likes to chase things. And she's afraid that she will, you know, maybe chase a scorpion one day. But she loves to smell this little guy. And uh, I think it's the same one I caught the other day because it's uh, uh, where I parked my truck and my shed is over there. Uh, he probably was coming over on the concrete there to look for bugs or ants or something and uh, there's a close up of his face got his eyes closed and he's got a really really soft belly and uh, I'm pretty sure it's the same guy I've caught him like three times now and I uh, have to take a picture of his back and then go back and look at the other video but uh, he's pretty calm he's doing his little Underneath his chin there, I guess he's pumping up because they will squirt blood out of the corner of their eyes. What I've heard, I've never ever actually seen it happen. But uh, let me put some contrast here, some black, so you can see them better. Uh, I'm going to let him go. I just wanted to, you know, see if it was a rat or maybe if it's a squirrel. I told my wife, is that a squirrel? You sure it wasn't a squirrel? Because uh, I haven't seen that squirrel lately. And she said no, and she described the size about him. Um, I'm saying he's about four inches long from tip of the head to the tip of the tail right here. It's like really prickly back here. And uh, my cat wants to smell him. She likes to smell him. She won't hurt him though. She'll just, she likes to smell him. Every time I catch him, I let her smell him. She never does any. Now my dogs, my dogs will try to snap at my hand. But uh, yeah, I'm going to let them go because there's a lot of bugs out there. And uh, they eat spiders and stuff. And so I just wanted to make sure it wasn't a prairie dog or a rat or even that squirrel getting up underneath my truck. Because I haven't moved my truck in a couple of days. And uh, if you don't move your truck every now and then, they'll crawl up in there. They'll chew the wires and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's... Uh, what is it? What day is it today? Monday. Monday night. Uh, July 7th, I think it is. Yeah, July 7th, and it's 11.25 p.m. at night. Now he's starting to get antsy. I'm going to let him go, but I just wanted to show you uh, that I caught the horny toad again. And they come out, you know, it rained today, uh, most of the afternoon over here where I live. And that's why these critters they come out when it rains. I'm surprised I haven't seen any snakes lately. But uh, that'll do it. Say goodbye, Mr. Ornithon. Say goodbye, Cleo. Because uh, we're going to get...